Hello, my name is Colin Fan. I'm a pharmacy student at California North State University College of Pharmacy, class of 2022. Today, I'm going to be talking about Lesco, Lesco XL, also available generically as fluvastatin. Fluvastatin can be used to treat multiple diseases such as hyperlipidemia, which is high fats or lipids in the blood, or coronary arthrosclerosis, which is thickening of the arterial walls close to the heart due to buildup of fats. Administration. This medication is usually taken by mouth with or without food, and it, uh, it is advised that the patient does not combine two 40 milligram tablets together, and the patient should not chew or crush this, the extended release tablets. Some common side effects associated with fluvastatin include gastrointestinal upset, indigestion, diarrhea, and headaches. Some more serious and less common side effects include muscle inflammation and rash, hepatic failure, autoimmune disease, and myopathy. Patients with liver disease, pregnant, or currently providing lactation should not be taking this medication. Patients should report any signs of adverse effects to the primary care provider. Also, patients should avoid drinking alcohol while taking this medication. Some more background about Fluvastatin is that it is an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. It belongs to the drug class of statins and is the least potent of all statins. The mechanism of action of fluvastatin is that it inhibits the HMG-CoA reductase, which is required for converting HMG-CoA to mevalonate, which is the limiting step of cholesterol synthesis. As you can see, in the number one, statin is inhibiting HMG-CoA for being converted into mevalonic acid, which in turn turns into, into cholesterol. Pros versus cons of fluvastatin. Some of the pros of fluvastatin include it lowers LDL levels while increasing HDL levels. It has a lower chance of myopathy compared to other statins. It is a statin of choice with kidney disease in patients, and it has the lowest cost compared to other statins. Some cons include it is not very effective in lowering triglycerides, and it could also increase bleeding when combined with warfarin. Formulation and dosage. Fluvastatin is available as a tablet. It is available as 20 milligram tablets, 40 milligram tablets, and 80 milligram extended release tablets. For the indication of coronary arthrosclerosis, if the goal is to decrease the LDL level by less than 25%, it is recommended that the patient takes 20 milligrams by mouth daily. If the goal is to decrease the LDL levels by 25%, then it is, it is recommended that the patient takes 40 milligrams daily or twice a day. For the indication of hyperlipidemia, it is recommended that the patient takes 40 milligrams daily or twice a day, or the patient can take 80 milligrams extended release tablet daily. Dosage adjustment for patients with renal and hepatic failure. For renal failure, mild to moderate impairment, there are no dose adjustments for this medication. However, if the patient is experiencing severe impairment, it is recommended that the patient use 40 milligram tablet or higher with caution. Patients with hepatic impairment, it is contraindicated to use this medication. For drug interactions, patients who are taking cyclosporine and fluconazole, it is recommended that they do not exceed 20 milligrams per day. Monitoring parameter for efficacy, the patient should have their lipid panel measured four weeks after start of therapy. If their cholesterol levels are still high, then the patient should increase their dose to max dose or switch over to a higher intensity statin. For safety, the patient should look for signs and symptoms of myopathy or rhabdomyolysis, which can include muscle pain. The patient should also, also have their liver function test, which can tell them whether 
the medication is toxic or is therapeutic. And here are a list of my references. Thank you.